everyone, and welcome to the very first installment of The Smoke Report, a bi-weekly news and information video focusing on all things vapor-related. I'm your host, Jay Todd. We'll be talking about everything from cigars to electronic cigarettes, smokers' rights and advocacy, whether you smoke two packs a day or you're trying to quit. Our philosophy is that, as an adult, you have the right to make decisions for yourself without the oppression of nanny state politics trying to police every aspect of your lives. And to that end, these videos will hopefully inform and educate while being motivational and fun to watch. So, what's on the agenda for show number one? Well, uh, we got physicians defending e-cigarettes. Imagine that. We have some weird industry news from Iran, of all places, and an idiot on an airplane. But let's start with a story out of Indiana and a smoking ban set to go into effect on August 11th. Now, we're used to indoor bans and smoking areas by now. I must admit that I understand not lighting up in a restaurant where people are eating or on a crowded plane where non-smokers can't get up and leave the area. But sometimes, many times, these bans go too damn far. And this one extends to bars and pubs, which is ridiculous in and of itself. But the real scary part is how these politicians interpret this ban when it comes to public buildings like nursing homes and assisted living communities. I'm being serious here. These buildings are considered public, which means people who live there would be prohibited from smoking in the privacy of their own rooms. Mm -hmm. Just think about this for a minute, my friends. Lifelong smokers living in an apartment they pay for, and Big Brother comes in and says, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. Well, the County License Beverage Association, along with AMVETS and the American Legion, sued the county commissioner there this week, and I say good for them. A hearing is set for Tuesday of this week, and if the ban is upheld, well, what can you say? Slippery slope, maybe. You know, it would be really nice at some point, as all these laws are passed on behalf of the rights of non-smokers, if someone in government remembered that smokers are also voters and they have rights too. We'll be back in a minute. Introducing the most exciting invention of the 21st century, the SafeSig electronic cigarette. The SafeSig uses the most advanced technology to provide the perfect recreational alternative to traditional smoking. The SafeSig implements an innovative flow sensor to instantly turn itself on and off, eliminating the need for any power buttons. Its refill cartridges were designed from the inside out to set the industry standard for consistency, reliability, and vapor volume. Best of all, the Safe Sig looks, tastes, and feels just like the real thing. Since it's not real smoke, the vapor is virtually odorless, and it won't smell up your hair or stain your teeth. It can also be used in most non-smoking areas. For more information or to order now, please visit our website, www.thesafesig.com or call our toll-free number, 1-866-997-2332. You must be 18 to order. There was a story I was very surprised to read this week in the Tehran Times, Iran's leading newspaper. I'm sure just like me, many of you read it every day. The story said, that eating hot dogs, hot dogs, could actually be as risky to your health as smoking. That processed meats, like wieners, can cause colon cancer, even if it's just one lousy frankfurter a day. Personally, I don't know how they arrived at these conclusions. I've never been able to get my hot dog to stay lit long enough to smoke the whole damn thing. Thank you, thank you, I needed that. My attempt at humor. <clears throat> But seriously, how long will it be before a study finds that water causes cancer? 
What doesn't cause cancer these days? Seriously. I'll tell you what doesn't cause cancer. Electronic cigarettes. They are great for places where smoking is prohibited or if you're trying to quit. And now physicians, doctors, say that e-cigarettes may be beneficial. The Royal College of Physicians in the United Kingdom says e-cigarettes are one of the best, most innovative forms of nicotine replacement therapy on the market today, and as a result, they should remain on the market. But just as some positive news is reported, you know we're going to have something negative, like this schmuck on a flight from Los Angeles to Salt Lake City making smokers look bad. Apparently, he lit up his e-cigarette on the plane before it even took off. Now I know it's not a real cigarette, it doesn't give off smoke. There is an educational process that we got to go through so that people learn about e-cigs. But the point is, he lit it up and the flight attendant asked him to put it out. Okay, post 9-11, we really shouldn't be arguing with flight attendants. He put it out, but he became upset and pissed off. So when the plane was in the air, what does baby Einstein do next? He lights it up again. And again, the flight attendant comes over and asks him to put it out. The man complies, but becomes more upset and then throws his bags of peanuts at the flight attendant. <clears throat> well, <laughs> guess who was waiting for him at the gate when he landed in Salt Lake? I'll give you a hint. Their initials are FBI. <laughs> the man was charged with possession of a bag of assaulted peanuts. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna need a rim shot. Thank you. Thank you again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on The Smoke Report.